You've probably heard of rose hips and all the health benefits, but did you know where they came from? So here is the rose flower. Just behind it, you can see the hip. It's small and green. Once the flower is done and has been pollinated, the rose hips will swell and they will start to color up towards winter. So these are great for making teas. They have 25% more um, vitamin C even than an orange. So just really quite incredible. Remember, some roses get bigger hips than others, even though all will produce hips. This is Hansa Rose. These are fantastic for rose hip tea and such. Remember, if you are removing your petals from your roses, if you're doing a little bit of deadheading, make sure you don't take off the little wee rose hips that are developing right behind the flowers. Yes, you can get rose hips if you grow your roses in a container. This is an example of a tree rose and look at the size of these hips. So if you wanna make a cup of rose hip tea, you need five or six big size rose hips or about a quarter cup of the dried rose hips. So let's try it. Oh, needs more honey. 